Welcome to our tutorial about the center mark tool. I've got a part here with an arc slot, a circular hole in the middle, and a circular pattern feature right here. It's based on Extrude 4. Now let's create a drawing document. Make drawing from part assembly, landscape B, OK. Before I drag a view into the drawing sheet, I'm going to go to Options, the Document Properties tab, Detailing, and under Auto Insert on View Creation, I'm going to check Center Marks and Slots. Now let's go to Center Lines, Center Marks. Let's select Center Marks for Arc Slots. We also have the option to set the Center Line Size and the Center Line Font. We can also choose the Center Mark Type and Orientation right here. Let's click OK. Open the View Palette. Let's drag in my Front View. Click OK, and let's zoom in a little bit. As you can see, we've got end center marks for the arc slot now here. All right, let me delete this. We'll drag select and delete. Now let's go to the annotation tab, activate the center mark tool. Under our options here, we've got a single center mark, a linear center mark, and a circular center mark. Let's select one of my holes now. As you can see, the propagate symbol appears here. That's because this hole is part of a circular pattern that I created. We can also adjust the display attributes in this part of the property manager or check here to use document defaults. Lastly, let's apply slot center marks here. Cancel out and apply slot center marks here as well. Cancel out. Now let's go to my part document. I want to add one more slot to my part. Let's take a normal two view. Let's use a simple straight slot. Something like this. Now let's go back to our drawing document and activate the center mark tool. Annotation tab, center mark. Let's select our new slot and the arc slot over here. OK, and cancel out. Now let's go to Options, the Document Properties tab. Let's go to Center Lines, Center Marks. Here, let's opt to place the marks at the end of the straight slot instead of in the center. And click OK. Now let's select the Center Mark tool again. Select the straight slot as well as the arc slot. Now my center marks are at the end of the slots. As you can see, the center mark tool gives you a lot of options to choose from. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about center marks.